first have a vehicle body then uh, we'll take up a motor and before connecting the battery directly to the motor we require a motor control so we want the control to happen and that is possible by a power converter so this is a drive cycle input and there is a driver controller about the block diagram and let's now move to the matlab window and let me show you how exactly uh, we are going to build up a basic block diagram so this is my matlab window and as i said uh, we are going to first start with uh, the vehicle body and that too also with a tire so i'm going to take a tire so this is my tire uh, i think you can uh, now see uh, more clearly in the uh, image so let's say we want to model a four wheeler right so we need to have four such uh, tires available with us right so let's say these are the four wheels available to us and we want to now connect all these four wheels let's say this two to the rear axle and this two to the front axle and let's say we want to make a rear wheel drive right so we are going to connect uh, the power of the motor or the shaft of the motor through the transmission system to the rear axle so as you can see there are four terminals to this uh, which are h stands for the hub and s is the tire slip n is the normal force which is applied to the tire and a is nothing but the axle connection so these are the four number of ports with uh, four uh, tires now i'm going to have a vehicle body above uh, this and this vehicle body is going to actually be installed on all these four tires so as you see this is a vehicle body and we are going to connect this vehicle body to these tires right so in order to connect them i'm going to flip this uh, model so that i can uh, connect this similar parts together which is the hub and from the hub which is the terminal over here i can install the vehicle body right so let me flip this block so now i have flipped this block i will flip this block as well so now uh, i'm going to connect the hub part over here and uh, this h is going to be connected to this part of uh, vehicle body so i'm connecting this uh, hub over here so this is what the connection i have made i need to connect the hub for other two wheels as well so let me connect this also here and this also here so now we have installed uh, this uh, vehicle body onto the tires so if i open up this blocks individually what you will see here are the vehicle related parameters right so this tire parameters can be according to various uh, options right so whether you want to take up peak longitudinal forces and slip or you want to take up constant formulas where you have uh, b c d e coefficients right or you want to load the dependent magic formula co coefficients so based on the tire magic formula theory here we can actually put up all uh, related things and we can uh, have a rolling radius we can uh, select about the uh, dynamics right so what is the stiffness and the damping we can select the rolling resistance if i turn them on uh, we can insert the value of the uh, rolling resistance over here right so this is how you model a tire now once you have the four wheels connected this uh, is to be now installed on a vehicle body so if i open up the vehicle body block here you can install uh, or you can add uh, the vehicle mass total kilograms of the vehicle which is called a curb weight so and the number of wheels per axles and the center of gravity related data then you can actually enter the frontal area in meter square you can enter the drag coefficients 
and you can uh, have the pitch related dynamics as well so with this vehicle body configuration you now need to uh, connect various ports to this block